What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be doing a bike check on my 2020 Specialized Fuse. Um, yeah, let's hop into it. So right off the bat, of course, it's the 2020 Fuse. Um, it's just the normal Fuse. It's not the Comp or the Expert or anything. Um, so I have changed a little bit. It came with the RockShox Judy originally and uh, Tektro Brakes. Um, those are the main things that I've changed. Uh, some smaller pieces here and there, but uh, we'll get into it a little. Specialized A1 aluminum. Um, they make a nicer aluminum. I believe it's M4. I could be wrong, um, but that's what the Expert comes in. And then the, I believe this one and maybe the comp come in the A1 aluminum. So far, it's been perfectly fine for me. I'm a lighter rider. I'm 125 pounds, um, so it's fine. And then here's the Fox Rhythm 34. I found it on Craigslist for $200. Um, it needed a rebuild and a seal kit. So I threw that on there. It has the tapered steerer tube, and I got it rebuilt and put new seals put in. And 812 MTB did that for me um, out of Austin, Texas. It does great work. Um, going down to that, attached to that, I have the SRAM Guide T brakes um there are four piston caliber this originally came with the tektro two pistons front and rear um i wanted a little bit more bite and a little more modulation so i found some srams some sram guides on pink bike um, i have those connected with sram pads and then also the uh sram centerline rotor at 180 millimeter that's all touching the ground with a vittoria Vittora martello it's 27.5 and it is a 2.6 width um the bike came with plus size tires, um, but I had a flat and this is this is the tire I could find. I really like it and I personally am probably going to keep running this tire. It doesn't come in a 2.8, only a 2.6, so I will be dealing with that. And then it's just attached to a specialized standard, uh, I think it's a double wall alloy rim, but it could be single wall. Um, definitely planning on upgrading the wheel set later on, I want something a little stronger. Um, and here's the tread of the Vittoria Martello. It's pretty aggressive. It grips really well in the loose stuff. Um, grabs really well over rocks and chunky stuff. I haven't tried it in the mud. Trails around here where I live do not cater well to riding in the mud, so I usually avoid that at uh, all costs. So, But overall, I've been really happy with this tire. And, um, you have a specialized stem. It's, I think, a stout stem. It's aluminum alloy. And it's a 45 millimeter reach, I believe. And I don't know the rise off the top of my head. Um, going through that is just a stout alloy bar. Um, the diameter of that is 31.8 millimeters. And I have the grips on that. I have the P and W grips. Really nice. They feel really good in the hand and um, really remind me of grips. That I, the grips I used to prefer when I would ride moto back in the day. Um, and then below that is just a specialized dropper post or dropper switch. It's nothing special. Um, it's plasticky. I don't like how it feels and I don't really like the pull on it. i um, looking at either going with a P&W dropper lever or another company. Um, and then on those, I, these are the guide T's levers. Um, personally, I'm kind of torn on these. I, my front my front lever works great, bleeds well, the system holds it, it doesn't get air into it and never never gives me problems. However, on the rear, I seem to always have some problems. It's always getting spongy. Now onto the dropper post. I have a Trans X dropper, it's 120 millimeters. Um, anything above the small for a specialized fuse in this year is gonna come with a 120 millimeter dropper. The saddle is a body geometry bridge saddle with steel rails. Um, and then on the rear, the same, we got the SRAM guide caliber with the four pistons, but that one is set up with a 160 millimeter centerline rotor um, on the rear. Um, like I said, for some reason, my rear brake's always been giving me trouble recently, and it seems twice or three times a month I haven't tried to bleed that thing. Um, so I'm, I'm probably going to look up, look on getting away from the SRAM rotors, maybe go to Shimano. It has a 32 chain ring um, with stout forged alloy 76 millimeter cranks. Um, pretty much 75 millimeters, I believe, 
or whatever. Back to a Sunrace 1142 tooth 10 speed cassette. Um, and then we have for the derailleur, we have a Shimano Dwyer 10 speed derailleur, the Shadow Plus with the GS cage. Um, and that's all controlled by a Shimano Dwyer 10 speed shift lever. Um, Yeah, so that's about it. Um, on the rear also, I have the Specialized Slaughter 27.5 times with the width of 2.8 tires. So I am running a wider tire in the rear than I am in the front. I haven't noticed any negative effects about that. Kind of reminds me more back from my dirt bike days. Um, and then, yeah, the rims actually are Stout Trail 27.5s, 38 millimeter internal width. And then the front hub is a Stout Alloy sealed cartridge bearing. Rear hub specialized seal cartridge, 148 millimeters boost. Um, that is what it is. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for putting up with me. I'm still learning this whole video thing and voiceovers and all this, but um, thank you for your time and uh, stay tuned.